you know, uh, what's really amazing was the biggest milestone for our project was the delivery of Shelly because we had to go from one completely different cryptocurrency to a completely new cryptocurrency with completely different rules. And we built a beautiful bridge for that called the hard fork combinator. And we had to do a new network stack, new ledger rules, new way of doing transactions, new address scheme, new cryptography, a lot more of it, a completely new consensus protocol. Uh, it was an enormous effort. And we had to do all of that together with an eye on what are we going to do for Gogan and Voltaire? And so we did that. We achieved that huge milestone and that we've cleaned up the, the post upgrade mess, which was considerable. There was a lot of little things to do. And now we're pulling Gogan in. And here's the thing. We don't like giving dates where we miss the dates. And so unless we have an incredibly high degree of confidence in those dates, we're not going to announce anything. So the whole point of switching process and procedure is to get more precision and accuracy, especially when you're dealing with many teams, some inside of the company, some outside of the company. And so uh, th we're not in a position where we have enough velocity data with this consolidated workflow where we can definitively say, oh, it's going to be this month versus that month. But it's not the case where there's two years worth of work. It's not even close to that. It's not the case there's a year's worth of work. It's not even close to that. Uh, so uh, we're actually doing everything we need very quickly and turning things on very quickly. Now, there's a long tail with Gogan. So even after Gogan comes out, like when Shelly came out, there's additional features and functionality that are required. Like, for example, with Shelly, we had atomic delegation, but not partial delegation. So that feature needs to come. And there's a lot of work to do to enable that feature. And so that's a post Shelly piece of work, but it is in the Shelly scope. Similarly with Gogan, there's Gogan with Plutus Foundations. Okay. But then there's the application framework. So there's a lot of ecosystem infrastructure that we also need to build. Some can be built in parallel. Some can only be built after Gogan is launched. So there's a tail there as well. And that tail involves making the development experience better, higher quality control, easier development experience and so forth. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's just a lot of people like running around, running their mouth and saying the sky is falling. Uh, it's not. We're, uh, we've never been in a position where we have more flexibility and predictability and understanding of the road ahead. It was really difficult in the Byron age when we were dealing with code that was so hostile to upgrading to estimate anything. Now we're in a situation where we have huge performance problems and in two weeks they're resolved because we wrote the code, we understand the code and we know how to benchmark that. We have super complex problems with the Bitrix wallet. And within a month, we're able to resolve those super complex problems. If we were dealing with the old Seracel code, it'd be six months to be able to deal with something like that and be able to get a proper solution and so forth. Uh, so we're in a really good position in that respect. And I, I'm not like worried about Gogan in any sense of the word.